Today we got our first impressions on the newly released Nike Jaw 1. The details on these are insane. Let's go. Welcome back to our channel guys. As you can see today we're checking out the Nike Jaw 1. The first shoe to release by Memphis Grizzly star Ja Morant. Chase, what do you think about this shoe? What do you think about the looks for this shoe? We'll start there. Honestly. Honestly. If you would've if you would have just pulled this out and didn't tell me it was John Moran, okay. I wouldn't have said that this is a basketball shoe. Oh really? You think this is, looks like a lifestyle shoe? It looks more lifestyle, Ooh. maybe even like a golf shoe. Oh yeah, oh, that's right. I forgot that that's kind of the first they do kind of have a, like a Tiger Woods look, I'm assuming. And it's got like some little bit of high quality leather on the on the side panels yeah. right there. So I don't know. That's that a, honestly that's a that is a good first thought. I didn't even think about that. Plus, look at the details that they put on the box too. I love the baby blue box. They put John Morant on the side there. 12, yeah, there's just all, just all kinds of details. Look at that, 12 tallies on the side there. Lots of details for it. So, and, and I wanna say, I'll show you guys a little bit further down once we get more uh, into the design, but they put a lot of details onto this shoe. You could tell it's, that it's a shoe line that they took some time and like put a lot of effort into it. But for, as we'll start off with the retail price. These are gonna be going for the honestly pretty low price of $110. That's not, that's not bad at all whenever it comes to basketball shoes. First signature line? First signature line. So 110 for Luca lines up perfect there. Some other recent models, like you just had the Tatums go for 120, I think. So 110, that's not bad at all. But before we talk about the shoe anymore, bring you back over here. So what kind of something a little cheaper. Yeah, how about the merch? What are we rocking that today? Socks right there, baby. You can check them out on our website or that ball dot. The, hey, sure. look at the details. We got a few different mock-ups for like that baller merch. It's uh, available like link in bio. Make sure you go and check that out if you want to. But back to the shoes now. So yeah, the John Morant one, I mean, it's been a pretty hype shoe. Like people have been talking about it a lot. I, I know they've been out for a while. I was looking forward to getting my hands on them because people have said that leaving the looks, looks alone, like the performance on these bad boys has been getting like a bunch of great reviews. But like I said, the details are crazy. I'll bring you in here, let you look at the shoe real quick. Like, you can tell they do some like designs on the front half. I like, jo I think Jaws is a cool player logo too. They put that on the tongue there. Jaws player logo. From the side, they got this swoosh. Kind of looks like the LeBron 20 a little bit, but you don't have the double thing. I think it's cool how the swoosh wraps around and you get the full wrap around to the inside there. Lots of details on this design. I mean, the John Morant one, like I said, it looks clean, but we're here for the performance. Let's see how they play. All right, so now I get on the court, kind of seeing how these feel for more of the performance side. First off, I'll bring you down here. What do we think about the Nike Jaw 1? As far as the appearance goes so far. What are you guys thinking? I like all the details. It's a sleek looking model, like Chase said. These could definitely work off the court too. But as you can see, this is gonna be our first impression. We're outdoors, always go indoors. That comes out in about a week or two where I break these down a little bit further. So now getting into how these actually feel on an outdoor court. The first thing I always like to talk about is the cushioning. And Nike's one of those brands where sometimes, but sometimes they'll uh, put in their shoes, the uh, like, dang, missing the first shot. Sometimes they'll put in like, a little extra bounce in the forefoot. And this is one of those models that had that. I don't know if it tells us on the shoe kind of what's being used. It feels like there some air is. zoom or yeah, something. Air zoom, right Perfect, there. yeah, so in the forefoot, like whenever you're putting the pressure on there, you can feel like they got a little bit of a bubble. Gives you some extra bounce. That's something I definitely like about these models. I think that's something that uh, that's very useful. If you like that type of play, the other type would be balanced. I just like that forefoot loaded stuff. As far as like the uh, support goes, this feels like it's gonna be a nice model just because it does have a thinner upper. Like it feels like they will be light. That's something I'm always a fan of, but like uh, one thing that goes along with that is you want the support to check out. Like Chase said, these do have what looks like those bands. That's what, these kind of like tie to the inner, to the underside of these. So tight, so keeping that tight, really gonna pull your foot together, make sure you're not doing any sliding out the side. And something else is like, I've been playing in some models that have been struggling with the heel counter. These feel good, no slipping. Like I feel like if I go and try and make that movement, you can just tell like my ankle is not, not doing anything too crazy. So that's something that I always look for in models like this. From those two performance aspects, especially like the cushion and the uh, cushion and the support, they feel good. So the last thing to touch on is the traction and I'll bring you back in again. We'll look at the traction pattern real quick. What are we rocking with down here? Ooh, that's not bad. I've seen this pattern somewhere else, I You've swear. I don't know, I like that it's somewhat organized. You got the arrows in there. Let's see, it feels like it's gonna have some pretty good bite to it. Yeah, the grooves are bad. deep. Not the grooves bad. are deep. So at 110, at 110 traction, obviously we just look at it, but we don't talk about it much out here just because it's an outdoor, uh, it's an outdoor model or it's an outdoor court. So I don't know how they're gonna play like inside or anything like that. 
but it feels like they got potential. 110, traction feels good, support, cushion, all that for like a hundred dollars. That makes this a good outdoor option. I feel like definitely a good outdoor option. John Morant one. Not bad. That about wraps up our first impressions on the Nike Jaw One. I realized I forgot to talk about sizing, but it's a pretty standard fit. Like you get about a thumbs width left over for the length. When the width, I mean, it's not gonna be a wide shoe, so keep that in mind. It's gonna be pretty standard, maybe on the slightly narrow side, but yeah, I mean, overall first impressions on the Nike Jaw One are pretty much all positive. Like it probably is about as good as what you've been hearing it is. As you can tell, we're outdoors. I've said it, this is our first impression. So I don't know how it's gonna necessarily like play on a different court surface. But you would gotta imagine it's only gonna be play, or it's only gonna play better indoors. That's generally how shoes work because I do like it's not quite as much bounce in the forefoot as like the Tatum one if you want to compare it to something like that. But it still feels good even in the heel. The support feels nice. Feels like a light shoe. It's a lot to like. So Landon, with the recent news of John Morant hmm. in you know talking about it, a little bit of controversy. Is this the only one of the John Morant, or do you think he's going to have a second one? Uh, he, John Morant is going through some stuff right now. Uh, as far as like this shoe, I actually did catch this as one of the last shoes to restock for the John one so far. So you can't really look to the forward, uh, to the future too much. I do hope he gets his stuff figured out because he's lost more money in the last couple months than most people will ever make. But as far as like the job one goes, it's gonna be a model you wanna keep your eyes on because I can just tell performance wise, it is gonna be worth it. So I do hope they roll out the rest of those colorways and kind of move his line forward because the job one, it feels nice. But that's gonna wrap up our first impressions. Until next time, peace.